There's something you should know about the 12th Imam. One hundred and twenty-four thousand prophets were sent for one purpose, the progress of human beings. But we rejected them and we slew the prophets unjustly. Thus the twelfth Imam and the guardian of the message of all prophets was hidden away from us. Allah basically said, do whatever you like. Go to the moon, explore space, build a hadron collider, clone a sheep or two, build a robot. How cute. In the end, the human race will realize that we need our guide and savior. Why? Because despite all our technological advancements, we remained far behind in terms of akhlaq. The Holy Prophet said, I have come to perfect akhlaq. But that's exactly what we're lacking in today's world. We know how to cure, but instead we inflict wounds. We know how to spread happiness, but instead we spread pain. We have schools which indoctrinate rather than opening the minds. And we have poetry, or rather mainstream media, which distracts the people rather than making them think. Allah, out of his mercy, has always guided human beings away from ignorance and towards progress. Ignorance is bliss! No, and the times we live in prove that ignorance is in fact pain. We are living in an age of ignorance, very similar to the age of ignorance that existed before the advent of the Holy Prophet. In the times of Jahiliya or ignorance, the Arabs were eloquent poets, but their eloquence was aimed at vain purposes, praising kings or celebrities of the time and exalting false notions of love and romance. Today we have exceptional talents in terms of media, but instead of using it to progress, we massively use it to big ourselves up, endorse material desires, and exalt celebrities that don't stand for anything but vanity, much like the Arabs of the age of ignorance. The human race has enough wealth to feed the world, and yet we bomb it. We have enough knowledge to spread health, and yet we spread disease. And now the planet is crying out for a saviour who will lead a global revolution. And that saviour is the 12th holy Imam, Imam al-Mahdi, whose name, like his forefather the Holy Prophet, is Muhammad. <laughs> You're worried about your finances? Well, when the Imam returns, poverty will vanish from the face of the earth. At that time, people will be searching for someone poor who should accept charity or gifts from them, but they will find no one to give it to. In fact, it has been narrated that the Imam will address the people and say, anyone who has a need, come forth. One man will stand up and he will say, Ya Imam, these are my needs. The Imam will tell him, go to the treasurer and tell him that Mahdi commands him to provide you with some money. The man will present his garment to the treasurer who will fill it with wealth. But then the man will feel guilty. Hmm? He'll say to himself, why should I be the greediest of the nation of Muhammad? Realizing that he doesn't even need that, he'll go back to the Imam and try to give it back. But Imam al-Mahdi will tell him, what we have granted, we will not take back. Not only that, do you think that we are scientifically advanced in today's world? <laughs> We're cavemen compared to what we will be after Imam al-Mahdi returns. Imam al-Sadiq says knowledge and learning are 27 letters and everything that the prophets have brought is only two letters. When our Qayyim rises up, he will bring out the other 25 letters, spreading and extending them among the people. So everything we have ever known as a human race has only been two out of 27 parts. And when Imam al-Mahdi returns, inshallah, we will reach our full potential in terms of knowledge and scientific advancements. The Holy Prophet also said, O oh Ali, know that the most wonderful of the people of Iman and the greatest of them in certainty are those people who will be in Akhir zaman the last period of time. They will not meet the Prophet and their Imam will be hidden from them, yet they will believe. Do you believe? If so, then the Holy Prophet has described you as the most wonderful of people. Have you started to lose faith? Are you feeling hopeless? If so, then you should know that this in itself is a sign that the time is close. Imam Ridha has said, the most pious of believing men and women are those who are sorrowful for the time of flowing water. 
امام المهدي